So I had a plan for another video and it like completely flopped. So instead of losing out on today, um, I wanted to go ahead and get some content done. So I'm gonna do something kind of ambitious and like something I didn't think I would decide to do as a spur of a moment video. But you know what? Life is short, we're young kind of, and let's go ahead and do a all my tarantulas video. I feel the regret boiling up inside of me. No, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you all my tarantulas. I think, I might forget some, I probably will forget some, but I'm gonna try and show you all of the tarantulas I have in my collection right now. And I wanna say that as a tarantula YouTuber person thingy, my collection is not huge. I do not have a ton of spiders and I did also used to have more. I did narrow down my collection because I kind of fear falling into hoarding and feeling like I have um, overwhelmed with the amount of animals I have. I want to provide them a good life and know that I feed them regularly. I take care of them the way I want. So I do not have a huge collection. I don't have a hundred tarantulas. I don't have a t crazy amount and you might actually be surprised to see how few I have, but I do want to go ahead and share them with you so you can know all the little guys that are living in my home and I will not be showing you true spiders. I will not be showing you scorpions. I will not be showing you other arachnids that are not tarantulas. I'll just be showing you tarantulas today. I do want to do a full pets tour, but that's going to be a mission. So that will be coming where I'll show you like my frogs and everything. But for now, I'm just going to show you all of my tarantulas, every single one, hopefully. <laughs> Let's go. Ow! Okay, I think I want to start with slings and work my way up. So here we have my, see it in the corner? Uh, Brachypelma bohemi sling. I actually just got this one as a birthday gift from my friend Nate at Micro Wilderness and his wife Natasha. They sent me this little guy over and he is just so small and cute. Oh, are you leaving? Oh, and yes, very small sling. Brachypelma bohemi. I don't know the common name. I don't know what it is, but yeah, there he is. In this container, I have a pumpkin patch. Apolopius species Columbia large. There he is. Apolopius species Columbia large, pumpkin patch tarantula, dwarf species, super cute little guy. I'm so very sorry I disturbed you. I don't recommend disturbing your tarantulas for no reason. I regret that, I'm sorry. Here we have my P. machala sling got this one at a reptile expo from my friend nate micro wilderness um a really cute little sling i really like the colors ah oh, this one's a really good eater i really love the colors on this spider it's so pretty and as it grows up it's gonna be even prettier and i also need to fill your water dish so i will do that yes i will do that Next up, I have my Brachypelma smithy sling. Yes, this is a smithy. It is not a Hamori. It is a smithy. Got from Nate, a micro wilderness. And this is a really cute little dude. Also needs this water dish filled. But yeah, just a really, really cute spider. He's finally starting to show the Brachypelma smithy colors. So I'm really excited about that because forever it just looked like a little brown sling. I got this one. He was literally like, like teeny, like microscopic. And now he's got a little size to him. These are slow growing species, so yeah, it just takes a while, but we'll get there eventually. And here is my Cereocosmus Leedsy. Um, I see the butt. You can see the little heart butt. Yeah, these guys are pretty fossorial, so you're not going to see them too often, but they are really cute when you do see them. Okay, next up, this one is not a sling, but he is pretty small. This is my mature male, Stereocosmus Leedsy. Um, He is a very cool guy. He's a mature male, so he's not going to live too much longer, but I think he's just beautiful. And you can see, like, compared to my finger, he's pretty little. Um, but yeah, he's mature. He's a good boy. I've raised him up from when he was a little tiny sling and yeah, he's just, let's see, 
Yeah. I think he's beautiful. Sorry for my shaky hands. I'm not a surgeon. Okay, this is gonna be a tough one, but down here, you can see a little foot, and that is my green bottle blue. Um, these are beautiful spiders, and I just wanna appreciate the webbing that has been done in this enclosure. It's probably been about three weeks since I put him in here, and this tunnel is so cool. Unfortunately, we just can see like a little foot, and I'm not gonna mess with him since he's in his tunnel. But yeah, you can see this really awesome tunnel work that he's done. He has a swing about an inch, um, inch in leg diameter. But yeah, really cool spider. If you want a heavy webber, you've got to get one of these. This right here is Luna. She's my grandma stole a polka piece. Um, I got, this is my first ever tarantula. I got her when she was like a quarter of an inch. She was really small and now she's got a decent size on her. Let's see if she'll like spread out a little bit. She's, yeah, she's grown so much. I actually don't know that she's a girl. I just call her a girl with wishful thinking because I want her to live forever. But yeah, she is so pretty. I still can't believe how little she was when I got her. Um, it's crazy. She's like two years old, so that's pretty impressive and yeah, shows you the speed of a gramostola. They don't grow too big, too fast, sorry. But yeah, she is a pretty girl. I actually got her from Fear Not Tarantulas. Um, she was my first ever tarantula and yeah. Say hello, Luna. Dang, girl, look at that zoom on you. Okay, next up here is Binks. He is my grandma Stola Pulcra, or the Brazilian Black. I got him as a little sling as well, and he's grown up so much. He is just looking so cute and fabulous. You gotta love just velvet black spider. Just pretty, spooky, Halloween-y. Yeah, he is just a very good boy, and I actually fed him so he has some worms in his mouth, but yeah, he is just pretty. So pretty. Okay, and here we have Susan. Susan is an Aphonopelma simoni. And she is down here. My arm is shaking. She is a fossorial girl, I suppose. Let's kind of just take a little peek at her. Oh, she's very covered in dirt. Um, yeah, these guys love to dig, so. If you enjoy seeing like cool tunnels that spiders dig, then definitely get one. But if you prefer your spider to be out on the surface, maybe not. <laughs> I still love her though. She's very cute. I also got her from Nate, Micro Wilderness. I actually picked her up in person at an expo. When I saw her, I just thought she was so cute and I just had to take her home, even though I was not planning to get any adult tarantulas. But you know, for Susan, we make exceptions. Okay, here we have my Phonopelma calcodes. She is actually the New River color variant, um, offshoot, um, which means she's a little bit more red. Actually, I don't know that it's a girl, but I call it, her name is Bubbles, so I like to think she's a girl, but you know, I'll be fine either way. So yeah, here's a aerial view of her, him, them, of them, looking fabulous as ever. I sense pre-mold is approaching, hence the kind of dull colors. When I first received this spider about a year ago, it was very vibrantly red and gold and pretty. So the colors will come back after a good molt, but these guys take forever to molt, so who knows when that'll be, but you know what? We still love it. These are really docile, chill spiders. They don't really do much. They're kind of pet rocks, but I don't mind that. Um, yeah. Bubbles, bubbles everyone. Okay, and here's Azula. She is my Brachypelma erratum female. Got her from Nate, Micro Wilderness, duh. I sound like a broken record at this point, but she is just beautiful. She's a confirmed female, confirmed pure lineage of Brachypelma erratum, and she is just beautiful. Again, she is probably gonna molt sometime soonish because she's very plump and her colors are a little bit dull, but she is just lovely. She doesn't really do a whole lot, but I did give her a nice big enclosure just so she can kind of like explore if someday the 
you know, idea to do so ever crosses her mind. But yeah, this is Azula. She is lovely. And next up we have Bootsy. Bootsy is my Theraposa Apophysis or Pink-Footed Goliath Bird Eater. This is a sling. These guys actually get really big, but Bootsy's just a little baby for now. Um, he's pretty angry pretty much all the time. Very fluffy, very angry. Eats very well. Um, yeah, a good spider if you want a spider that's gonna get huge. I didn't necessarily get Bootsy on purpose. I got it at a, in a mystery box from Fear Not Tarantula. So, you know, we have it, we're gonna work with it. I'm like, oh dang, someday I'm gonna have a spider with a 10, or sorry, 12 inch diagonal leg span. Um, cool, got to prepare for that. <laughs> but yeah, so here's Bootsy. Bootsy also loves to kick hairs. I am sure you can tell by that bald spot on the abdomen. Every time I try to give food or water, he decides that he wants to get a little kick out of throwing some hairs at me, so that's okay, you know, we, just, we respect it. Okay, in this enclosure we have Pumpkin. Pumpkin is my Phonopelma bicoloratum, which was a wish list spider for me. She's a confirmed female. Here she is, and she is just stunning. Like, I love orange, and I just love this spider, and I actually kind of got her as an accident because I ordered a different spider, but there was an issue with the shipment where I was told that it passed away in the um, import, so I got to pick something else, and I saw this girl, a confirmed female, a Phonopelma bicloratum at a decent size, and I jumped on the opportunity, so I love her. I think she's so beautiful. She's in a Phonopelma, so she's really chill. She doesn't really do a whole lot, but... Yeah, I just love her so much. She's so pretty. If you see the opportunity to get something like this, do it, man. You will not regret it. Okay, I think we might actually be on the last spider. This is Buttercup. She is in a Phonopelma hensi or um, Texas brown, Oklahoma brown, some kind of brown tarantula. A lot of people, you know, they want to talk trash on brown spiders, but I love brown spiders. You know, they're just so classic and I don't know. I think they're actually really cute. Um, I really like how plump she is. She's very plump. She never turns down a meal. I probably need to put her on a diet, but yeah, she's pretty chill. She just kind of hangs out and relaxes. She blocked off the entrance to her burrow. Why? I do not know, but yeah, she just kind of hangs out. She's really chill. No jump scares to be found with her, but yeah, Buttercup is a very, very good girl. Another confirmed female from Nate and Micro Wilderness. I just love her, she's so pretty. But yeah, I think she's the last one. You know, I just set up for my outro and I just realized that I definitely forgot at least one tarantula, my pink zebra beauty. I totally forgot her. I think I moved her upstairs because she never comes out. So I put kind of the animals that never come out upstairs with some of my vinegaroons and scorpions because they mostly hide all the time. So I keep the ones that are out and about a little bit more down here, but I totally forgot her, which means I probably forgot a couple others. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tour of almost all of my tarantulas. Um, let me know if you were surprised by how few I have or if, you, if I have more than you thought or what you think of my choices of the selection that I have. I really love all of them so much. I really try to keep this selection at a man manageable number because they are animals and I have to treat them with care and respect and love and you know I don't want to get it at too out of hand where I have too many animals and it's more than I can keep up with because the health and happiness of the animals comes before anything else and collecting is something it's like a weird middle ground where like collecting is mostly like inanimate things like coins or whatever but we're collecting live animals so we have to keep in mind that they do need care we do have to make sure we have the time and the energy to take care of them so let that be known i guess like if you're thinking about getting into a hobby you know getting carried away is really easy but it's good to keep kind of a balance on things and just check yourself and you know, everyone has a different amount at which they feel comfortable having. For me, I work a full-time job. I take acting classes outside of job and all this other stuff. And so I have to keep my collection at a manageable amount and that's okay. At first I was a little bit ashamed because I see other people's collections where they have tons and tons of animals and you know, I wish I could have that. But you know, at this point in my life, I work full-time, I take classes like 
I can't have that. So it's okay. It happens, you know, I will maybe get there eventually someday. Um, subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you liked meeting all of my tarantulas and hopefully we'll get to do an all my animals video soon. Please subscribe, please comment and like and interact with my video because every little bit helps so much with the algorithm because it's so tricky out there, especially as a new YouTuber. So if you like what I do, if you like my animal babies, please subscribe and go ahead and leave a comment saying anything, anything, anything at all. And I always respond, Mo almost always, when I can, I respond, I do. Anyways, have a good day. You look great. You're doing awesome. You're doing amazing at life. I'm gonna go have some ice cream and 